Benin? I'm hmm? Benin. Are you from Britain? I am, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm Benin. Do you know about the stories? Yes, I'm a history teacher, so, so I've, you I've know, used these. You know. I've used these to teach. But you know that you know that it was colonialism. Yeah, it was Britain. it was taken from us yeah, by the British in 1897. They did it all over. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to take it back soon, right? Have you seen the Elgin marbles? Same Where, where's thing. the yeah? Elgin marbles were taken from Greece. They're just taken. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. And most of this the stuff. The British. The British. They are. Politically oh corrupt. my God! They're not, uh, just a nightmare. Yeah, but I'm going to write a letter yeah. to the Queen. I want to make. Go I want. To, I want to meet with the Queen. Yeah. These, I want to see these how. These should go back. Everything yes, yes. should be you where should go back. It exactly. Comes from. Thank you for being an honest yeah. British. I really appreciate no, absolutely. that. Absolutely, lots of people. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. this 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 thing can promote co to, uh, tourism in our land. Yes. You know, this this they took this yeah. in 1897. Oh, I think we, we they should bring it back to us. Incredible. We managed this together. It was a, a quite uh, yeah, difficult environment, but we are so happy to have you here today. We managed everything. You see here around a little bit more than 40 pictures from 10 big European and American museums. Altogether, there are approximately 60 museums all around the world who, uh, which exhibit Duted Benin art. As you know, more than 4,000 pieces, maybe already 4,000 or 5,000 pieces were looted from your kingdom in 18, uh, uh, 1897. So it's a big honor for me to have these pictures here. It's very symbolic. As you know, there is an ongoing international debate about the return of the looted artifacts. And the Oba, His Majesty, had a wise word when I met him in an interview. He said these artifacts are stolen, some of them should be returned, but at the same time there are also cultural ambassadors to the world and they spread your rich cultural heritage. Nevertheless, thank you very much again that I have the possibility to show some of these uh, pictures taken by me in the last two years. And I wish you, the people of Benin, His Majesty the Oba, Ewara II, you, Oba, my friend. Oba, 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 with permission of His Royal Majesty, as long as you want it to be, you know, kept here, yeah? because you know they use this up for something else. But I'm going to ask you now, what do you mean? I've decided, we have decided to donate some of these pictures to the palace to keep. And next year, in the military budget, the assessment is budgeted 500 million naira towards the building of the Royal Museum here in Benin. In collaboration, in collaboration with His Royal Majesty, the, the palace. So we want to have a, a museum. While those museum is there, these pictures will be there until those artifacts are refunded. So there are over a thousand pictures that Dr. Luke has in collaboration with the ministry. We can always print. Like you said, this, if you want to buy, you can order. It's not cheap, it's not too expensive. But these are materials that we should have at home. When we were planning Edo Fest, to me, this was the best content of this year's Edo Fest. Photo exhibition of our stolen artifacts. I'm glad my friend is here, John Saige, who has traveled around the world as well, talking about all these artifacts. Last time he was in London, talking about in the British Museum in London, talking about how these artifacts should be returned. A lot of people have done that. Professor, the professors from London, yeah. Cambridge, they've done it. They know Ogbebo has traveled around. Our own professor, Prince Akenzwa, you know, the Nogi of uh, Ewobanosa, have traveled far and wide to help meetings as well. So this is good. This is us, a little bit, a little contribution as a ministry to further push for the advocacy and the restitution of our artifacts. I'm glad this is happening. We planned it a few months ago. It wasn't easy. We struggled. It cost a lot of money. What you are seeing here now is more than five million naira put together. So the pictures, the tickets, the expenses, everything. But I'm glad that it's happening during our time. And everybody that comes to the palace will visit you. I'd like to say also congratulations, to my commissioner. I am glad to see that as a young person I've traveled around the world that we are beginning the process of returning our heritage. You know, this is what I do people is known for, and we strongly in support that it should be returned. Every one of you. Thank you so much. I firmly believe that 
because of our ancestors in captivity, that is why we have so many problems in our land. I believe it. Because of our ancestors held in captivity, that is why we have so many problems in our land. All right? We have got to find ways to talk about it and take it back, man. Stop what the commissioner Aero just did. A few months ago, I was in British Museum for the same purpose. As a young person, I strongly believe that all our artifacts should be returned back. So I love to see process. I love what the commissioner is doing to see how we can return all the stolen artifacts. Because Edo State Building Kingdom is known for arts and culture. What belongs to us should be rightfully returned. That's what I <laughs> Second son of Jesus. 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 Second son of Jesus.